a uh, developing tropical storm uh, in the Caribbean at five o'clock. And I thought at five, this was going to become a tropical storm and named the tropical storm. Hurricane Center kept it as TD number nine, but as the Hurricane Hunter plane was in the system as they kind of typed up the advisory, it was pretty obvious that this, is, this was a tropical storm. So 20 minutes later, special advisory came out. Now it is tropical storm Ida. We can thank this big high, which actually kind of ridges over the state, that essentially is going to act like a block and will steer Ida to the west of us. Can this storm make a big right-hand turn and head our way? No. It's going to head up to the northern Gulf Coast. So our good news is someone else's bad news. And that bad news is the northern Gulf Coast, primarily Louisiana. Water temps are running in the mid-80s. It's not only the surface temperature of the water, it's how deep the warm water is because as hurricanes traverse water, they kind of churn things up. And when that water is warm and deep as far as temperature goes, that's when hurricanes really intensify. 520 advisory because of that new special advisory naming it a tropical storm. Moving across Cuba and then hey, a lot of warm water, not a lot of shear. And these predicted intensity could be too low, I think. Uh, landfall sometime Sunday afternoon, uh, and there will be adjustments to the track. Uh, computer models have been kind of zoning in on Louisiana. You know, we're talking potential big impacts in New Orleans. To the west of that, you have Lafayette, and you, down the road, you get Lake Charles. Baton Rouge is in harm's way, so the exact track of this of Idaho will make a big difference to impacts to New Orleans. And for us, we'll just see rounds of showers and thunder showers every day, probably some rip currents along our west coast due to a hurricane passing west of us, but it should pass us a pretty far area to the west of us. So we should be okay.